All right, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna be making something pretty cool. Um, we're gonna be making a primitive fishing spear, also known as a gig spear. Um, these were used by primal cultures to really to catch fish, because if any of you have tried to spear a fish, you know that they're slippery and they're very difficult to spear with like a conventional spear, um, thus the gig spear. So in order to make this, you're going to need some very basic supplies. You're gonna need a knife of any kind. Um, you're gonna need some small sticks. You're gonna need a saw of some kind, and you're going to need some zip ties. Finally, you're going to need your spear. So I just went to the back 40, and I cut down a small sapling. Um, these make pretty good, pretty long, straight spears. Um, you can use whatever branch or stick or really whatever you want, but it is gonna to need to be a green stick. It's gonna to have to be alive fairly recently because this will not work with old wood. Old wood will crack, splinter, and it won't work correctly. So I just cut down uh, this guy right here. Um, so this is what I'm gonna use. I just gotta clean it up and uh, this will work out great. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your sapling and you're going to strip all the small branches off of it. You can use your knife, you can use your saw. If you have a machete, that's the best way to go, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna use my saw. All right, so I've cleaned all the branches off the sapling. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna split the head of the wood crossways. So essentially you're gonna cut an X into it and then you're gonna split it down about six to eight inches. So this can be a bit tricky. Um, it's easier with like a hatchet or something, but just do the best you can. Okay, so I've got it split down the center here. You can see I got the four sides. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my smaller stick and you're going to wedge that in there, then zip tie it off and that will keep the spacing for the prongs of your fish spear. Um, so this one's a little bit too wide, so you wanna find some pretty small sticks. So here we've got a pretty, uh, pretty nice small little twig here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna break it off so it's a little bit longer than the, uh, the width of your spear. And you're gonna put it down there about, and it really depends on how wide you want the prongs of your spear to be. Um, they shouldn't be more than a couple inches apart. Um, you can see here, so that'll keep that side wide and you put the other one in to get crossways. Um, again, your fish spear shouldn't be super wide because um, you're not going for gigantic fish. So I think this spacing is pretty dang good. So you can see I've got the sticks here, those hold those in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap off the extra here. And, um, and now come your zip ties. So the zip ties are real nice because they'll keep it from splitting further than you want it. So you're simply gonna put a zip tie below your spacers. Now you can use twine or string if you don't have zip ties. If you're in like a, if you're in a survival situation, you can always, uh, get thread or uh, material from your clothing, use that. Um, but if you have them, zip ties are the best way to go. So I'm gonna put a zip tie above and below that. That'll keep the, uh, the spacers not only from coming out, but it will keep the wood from splitting further than you want it to. All right, so now we just cut off the extra on the zip ties. You don't want that hanging out there. All right, so now you've got it pretty much done. Um, so now what you need to do take your knife and you need to sharpen these. So you need to get these to a nice sharp point and you're gonna carve barbs on the inside of the, uh, of the inside of the spear. Because the idea is when you hit the spear, the, uh, the fish are slippery, they're slimy, they're really hard to get, but the, uh, at least one of the points should grab on, which will kind of wedge it, the fish in between the, the points here and uh, then the barbs will hold on to the fish so it can't escape. So let's do that. Okay, so once you have the, uh, the four points nice and sharpened up, you can see they're, uh, they're pretty nice and sharp. Now what you're gonna do is take a thinner knife and you're going to cut your barbs in the inside here. So I've done one here, you can see that. It's very simple to do this, um, but these are, these are necessary because these are what are really gonna hold on to your fish so that it, uh, it can't escape. So all you do is you take your knife, you go to the inside, and you simply notch it. They cut a little ways in, bend it out just a little bit. You can see that gives it a nice barb, um, and then you just do that all the way down. You might wanna make sure not to cut too far in, or you're gonna weaken the spear point, but you wanna do that all the way down the length of it. So you can see there, I just did that one again. I just did that spine there. So now I've got nice barbs on two of them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of them. All right, so there we go. So now I got barbs on the inside of all of my spear points. So this is ready to use. Um, it's, it's really a very simple design, uh, but it's very effective. So these twigs hold the spacing for the spear points. The zip ties keep it from splitting either 
this way or up towards the front. You can fire harden this if you want to. If you let this dry, it'll become a lot stronger. Um, if you have the time, I would definitely let it sun dry um, so that the wood is, uh, is harder and holds the points better. But this is still gonna function just fine, even though it's still green. All right, well, there you go. Uh, that is how you make a primitive fish spear or gig spear. Um, this is something good to know how to do uh, just in case you're in a survival situation or you just have some time on your hands and you want to see if you can actually spear a fish old school. So, hey, um, there you go. That's how you make it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any other projects you want me to do, let me know. Uh, have a great day.